Uh, and this song, which is about, about, uh, about, well, it takes place in high school. And uh, there's a, a pot is used as a scapegoat. Uh, not smoked by me. I didn't, I, I, I didn't try pot until I moved here to Wisconsin. Um, well into my 30s. And I've tried it twice and it, it just doesn't. I don't know how to do it right, I don't think. Because I just got like, a, my throat was burned and then I got a headache and that was it. That's not how it's supposed to work, is it? I don't know, does anybody know? I don't know. I'm not saying anybody knows, I don't know. Anyway, this one's, this song is called Meet Me in the Hallway and um, I don't know, somebody complained about, there's a line in it about a third floor gym. And I don't know, there was just, in my high school there was a gym on the third floor and, they thought like that was too specific. I don't know. Some people write songs that are very universal and, and you know try to make everything. And and there are nice songs I think like that. But I kind of think that the more like specific details about my little experience that I throw in, and songs that I hear that have specific details that actually don't mean anything to me in some way, those those songs like speak to me more and like seem more universal. I don't know, whatever. So I'm sorry if third floor gym like seems weird to <laughs> to you. Sexy, sort of funny, sort of charming, sort of way. Hey, hey, hey.
the water fountain. Meet me by the third floor gym.